welcome to Shine Like the Sun. I'm Sean, and I am so happy that we're here to mind each other's businesses today. As you can see, we are in the playroom, and today I just want to give you guys a tour, definitely tidy up a bit, share my organization, where I get a lot of my stuff from. On my TikTok, Instagram, and even on my shorts, I share little snippets of the playroom, but I want this to be kind of detailed, and I'm super excited about this. Okay, so bam, as soon as you come up these stairs, you are in the playroom. It smacks you right in the face. Instead of a master bedroom seating area, we chose a loft and transformed it to this. This is a cactus themed playroom, so of course, a cactus mural on its half wall. I also love to swap out the garland up top depending on the holiday or season, and right now we have some hearts. I feel like a little table is just a requirement, just a little small space for them to be able to do crafts, to have like activities set up for them. Also eat lunch here, they eat a snack here. Uh, this is definitely well used, it was actually $30 from Ikea. Um, so yeah, I love this little table. This is our arch wall. It's definitely a trendy piece and I really like it. It brings a lot of character to the room. I actually used one of these arches from the Toy Rainbow and just traced it along the wall. Then I just went along and painted it and that's how it came out. And I absolutely love it. Super quick, it's super easy. Definitely a little tedious, but if I can do it, anybody can do it and then we went with sherwin williams desert sand i could not choose a color for the life of me but my husband was like oh yeah we'll go with this one i was fine we're going with the desert sand it was one of the options and it actually ties everything in together so next is the infamous the infamous chofas units you've seen these everywhere if you were looking into toy storage they are from ikea and you get a lot of options and you can customize them however you need to. So we have three large Trophas units on the bottom and then on the top we have two small Trophas units. So they're both Trophas units, just different sizes. And our smaller Trophas units, I like to put the smaller toys up here. So like the little small magnets, a lot of the smaller knickknack toys, toys with a lot of small pieces, like counting bears, um, some art toys, um, craft toys. I like to keep them up here to make them less accessible, but that's actually really not the case. But that's what we have in ours. At the bottom, these are the larger Trophash units. And you can customize your bins according to your needs. You can have three small ones here, a small and a medium, or one big large one. Um, you've seen my layout, so I have two largest on each end, and I have small mediums in between all the slots um, next to the large ones, or inside of the large ones. And that's what works for us, and I love this layout. Um, I also have extra bins if I ever change my mind and I may need to add another large one. I have some, or you can always just go to the store. They're like $3, $2, $5. Um, they definitely add up, but um, I think it's worth it just for the organization factor. And everything has a spot and it makes it so easy for the boys. They know if they come to this one that the magnets are in here. They know the magnet tiles are in there. So y'all, it's a game changer for cleanup too they can put their stuff where it goes and then up top i love to like deck my toys as decorations i love to use my toys to bring light color life into the room so as you can see that's my goal in every single room for my children Literally in every room for the boys for their playroom and then each of them have their own room i have this ikea dollhouse of course i don't use it as a dollhouse i love to use it as a shelving system so I would 
use it to store their toys, except it's more of a display storage. So they have some of their Love Every stuff in here, some of their little Dutch toys on here. And I absolutely love these houses. They're so adorable and I love the natural effect on them and how it just flows with the rest of the room and the rest of our furniture throughout the house. So yeah, this is the Ikea dollhouse and it serves as a shelving system in our playroom. And then of course I swap it out, I rotate it out just as I do with all the rest of the toys up here. And then on this wall, I just kind of really want to do something really personal. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But I actually found these really cute beveled letters in Michaels and I didn't have to do anything but put them up there. I used acrylic shelves and I used actually just some push pins, some push clear push pins and put them up there. So if you're watching this video and you're coming from my social media, other social media platforms, you're probably the only one that knows how this is up there. If you look from far away, it just looks like I have the letters on the wall, but they're actually just leaning on a photo frame and we have this little mickey head banner it's actually from gather i love the um the tones the color tones the muted tones as you can see that's kind of like our aesthetic um and then it's actually like a leather banner it is very high quality and my children don't really know a lot of characters so they know mickey so i like having something that they can resonate with up in here um, and like I said, when he's seen it, he's like, Mickey, Mickey. So that made me super excited. Here in this little nook, we have their workbench and it's by the brand Pear Pear. Kanye got it for Christmas and I think it's super adorable. They love playing with it. They also get their other tools from over there and bring it over to the bench. They see me doing a lot of DIYs, so I love how they play with their tools. It's just the cutest little thing. And then behind me, I have this accordion rack and I store like their smocks on there if we're doing art. I store some of their costumes on there. Right now I just have their backpacks on here and then like a cute little hanging decorative toy camera, whatever it is. But I just store that on there to kind of just add some more character to the room. Um, so yeah, that is a very functional um, piece, storage piece, organization piece, whatever. And then next up, of course, is the infamous Nugget couch. This is our Nugget. We actually have three Nuggets. This is the Sandcastle cover, and I think this color goes in here perfect. We have Rodeo, which is like a burnt orange. We have Bear Hug, which is the corduroy brown, and we actually have the Studio Mickey. So I have color options, but I just feel like this one just went so well in here and like i said i do have a lot of decor i do have a lot of different colors and color schemes going on so i didn't want another big color piece so i love the sand castle i love that it kind of gives that sand effect in our desert themed playroom and the boys love it i usually bring all three of them in we set them up have a ball um but right now it's just in the couch format and like I said, my son will just come sit here. They love to put like the wobble board on it and put their cars and stuff on it. Or Cole, of course, just climbs in it and looks out the window, which is usually open. But yeah, I just think this is the perfect spot for that. Put it here under the window. They can also use it as a little reading area. It's just very, very multifunctional. It's just such a photo moment corner for me. And I absolutely love this little reading nook. So this corner. is our little reading nook area. Um, I have like this little H&M pad here, a little cushion there. And the idea is for them to grab a book and they can, you know, sit back here and relax, read a book. Koa does it all the time, except his book is more like this. <laughs> but it's super cute he understand the concept he actually understand my vision with this area so this is like their little reading nook but guys this bookcase this bookcase this is one of my favorite pieces in here i chose the natural bookcase with the natural alphabet on it it's from Tidy Books, and of course, the reason why I chose natural is because I love to decorate with my toys, with our books. These books bring a lot of color, a lot of character, a lot of personality as well. So I didn't want to do too much with a busy bookshelf or a busy bookcase and then have busy books as well. So yeah, I absolutely love this bookcase. I love the lettering. I love how the screws are kind of like painted so that it blends 
with the color of the bookcase and hopefully one day when they get older when they start their reading journey um, I can like categorize the books by the letters that's on the front just because I'm that type of person And if you guys see my explore page on Instagram, I am obsessed with playroom, toddler decor, children decor. I love it. And this little infamous giraffe is everywhere. This comes from H&M. It is so cute, so soft. This is Cole's little buddy. Um, Daddy thinks this is just the funniest little thing. He always ends up in our room and it's just like, get out. So anywho, this is Raffi. So we're gonna put Raffi right back right here. And then you guys saw earlier, she has a baby and she's on the shelf up there. This locker. This is where I store the trucks. Girl moms, boy moms, toys aren't specific to gender, but if you have like a lot of trucks, I know it can get super overwhelming, but I just use this um, locker and it's super accessible for the boys. It's just magnet and uh, close and open so they can open it they can go in it whenever they need to they know that their trucks are in here and like I said it's a metal locker so all those like little metal toys that's in that top small trofast unit they actually stick on here so it's definitely multifunctional I love functional practical pieces so I can put the magnets on here we can do magnetic activities for circle time, I like to kind of switch it up a bit. So if we're gonna do colors and stuff like that, I can actually just take the magnets and be like, you know, circle, red circle, whatever. Um, and then of course it serves as a shelf as well. This is most of their like drop toys. So they have the musical leaf and then the ball drop. There's another ball drop over there. And then there's also a little Dutch garage. So I love to put this stuff up here. Usually they ask me to take it down, but they're super light pieces. Kyan can take this down. Koa actually never really tried to take it down, but usually he'll just point and show me what he wants and I'll just get it down for him. Of course, the Ikea duct kitchen and they have their stainless steel pots, y'all. I was looking for this hamburger patty. They have their stainless steel pots, their stainless steel utensils. Their little wooden kitchen. This is just so cute. I hate cleaning the kitchen and I have the audacity to have another kitchen to clean. Um, but yeah, I use their kitchen for storage. If it can't fit in this kitchen, then we don't need it. You don't need a bunch of, I, we don't need a bunch of little kitchen things. They also love to, <laughs> they love to cook their counting bears. They love to cook their sorting blocks and they, that's part of pretend play. No, it's not actual food, but they turn their stove on and they put it in a pot and they're over here stirring it. And I think that is so cute. Even though they do have like food and stuff down here, you know, they use their imagination and that's what I want this room to be for. And then they have their little cleaning supplies over here in their kitchen. Our swings, I installed some hooks in the ceilings and got these from Home Depot. They're actually on Amazon as well. They're by the brand. They're by the. They're by the brand Playberg, and I'm just gonna install them right now. Let you guys see how easy it is to put them up. And that's it. These are the swings and you've seen how easy it was. Once you have the hooks up, you literally just loop them in and they're up. Kyle and Kai absolutely love their swings. This is usually cold and he gets in here and he will fall right asleep. Kai, thank you that an amusement park guys. He just giggles and laughs so hard. It's just the cutest little thing. It melts your heart with adorability. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this for them. And then of course, I have a swing for myself. I just feel like this is one of those things that I always wanted to have. I'm so happy that I can do it and make it special for the boys as well. But also I put a lot of work and love into these places and spaces that I create for my boys. So it's nice that I can be able to enjoy them as well. And that's what I tell a lot of moms like, 
find your joy in the moments too. You can have fun and enjoy it too. So definitely remember that and consider that the next time that you're doing something, live in the moment, have fun with them. <laughs> Amazon, 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 Amazon. <laughs> Let's talk wall decor. This wire yarn little thing. You can get once upon a time. You can get your child's name. You can get dinosaurs. You can get leaves. You can get whatever you want from her. She's just really, really, really creative. I went with like this a burlap banner and it's customizable. You come with a bunch of different letters. And my friend, my best friend actually was like, do adventure, it'd be so cute. And I love adventure up there. And then I have these three shells. Like I said, I use their toys for decor. So a uh, shape puzzle. I put a piece of tape on the triangle so that it doesn't come out. And it's been good ever since. Then I have a little train here, another rainbow stacker and then this cute cute little giraffe it's like the mommy over here but the baby version these are embroidered posters not all of the numbers letters and planets give that 3d effect but some of them do and that is my favorite part about these posters they are such high quality and they also come with the hanging hardware that you see here this map is just so cute to me. It's always on a lot of Playroom inspiration pages and I just chose to put mine up there like that without any frames or hangers. Amazon, Amazon for the decals, Target, Amazon, Gather, Michaels, Target, Amazon, and then Ikea for the shelves and Amazon for that little burlap banner. And then the long live boyhood banner. I just love this slogan, especially for my little boys. Long live boyhood. I got this from Amazon as well. I tried to do like the Scandinavian style type of room. Um, so I took a lot of inspiration from my European users and I love how my playroom came together. The next video, I'm just gonna do like a whole toy rundown. Um, I said I was gonna do it in this video, but I kind of want to do a series to this. I don't want to kind of drag this video out. Um, so to make it easier, you can just click the next one if you're interested in the toys. No, I haven't done it yet, but whenever I do upload it, you can click the next one and it'll just give you the whole shebang of my toys, the brands I love, the kind of quality and the toys that I look for, that I go for, that I buy for the boys. Um, I just feel like that would be super fun just to have like a playroom series. So yeah, also we do not have a rug or a mat in this space. Oh my gosh, and it's driving me insane. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. Definitely subscribe to my channel, like and share comment like i want to engage with you guys